Great bit of work from Quinns on the front foot. Smith running nicely onto the ball. Space here for Dombrats. He's got Young outside him. Here's Dombrats. Powerful, powerful stuff from the Harlequins number eight. A try last week, a try this week, and that was dominant from Harlequins. Penalty advantage. Exactly the same penalty as the last one. Atkinson throws the dummy, wriggles forwards. Simpson looking to use the quick ball. This is Moyle. Little step, he's nearly through. Half through Nathan Earl's tackle. Simpson, Ackerman, quick hands. Poetry from Gloucester. Ed Slater into the corner. Cherry and White alive and well at Kingsheart. Set! Gloucester heads up. I guess they've sort of got their target man with Esther Hayes, and haven't they? Okay, want someone nine. that can play off that. Care again, darting through. Stopped. A couple of metres shy of the line. Jordy Reid has to back off. Chisholm driving onwards, powering forwards and swivelling over. Such a pivotal moment, you feel. Clock deep in the red at the end of the first half. And James Chisholm has scored Harlequin second. Care. Esther Hazen. Chisholm. Release. Wrestling with Reed. And what's happened? Stop, I haven't seen anything. I think it's your head, so time off. Okay, time off, please. Just relax. You're injured. I've stopped the game for him. Stay where you are. Stay where you are. Oh, interesting from Harlequin. The referee just wants to check. Because he tends Evans is the okay. I think it was head, so Big carry the off the scrum, but unexpected. So, um, That's what I like about this Harlequins. Right on the tackle okay. line. So we're looking at the injury to red ten. Looking at the injury to red ten. You're telling me you can see clear foul play with the elbow into the face of the play by the floor by Quinn's twelve. Correct. Okay, that's a red card, mate. Yeah, agree. Elbow Esther to Hazen. the face. It's a red card in the field. Being sent off here at King's home. Less than five minutes into the second half. Quinn's down to 14 men. Chisholm. Onwards through Tizard. Possession of the ball, so precious for Quinn's. Uh, that's a lovely little dink, and Earl is after it. This might work out beautifully. Marcus Smith, magnificent little touch. He's, off, he's offside, guys. He's offside by a yard. I'm directly in line with it as he kicks it. I mean, that is the, the key moment. I'm, I'm directly in line with it, Ali, in the stand. And when the kick happened... I, I don't think you're involved in the decision, Oz. Well, he's calling me as a witness, the TMO. <laughs> in line with he me, does man. respect me. OK, from what I'm seeing on the field, with an on-field try, I don't see that as compellingly in Ooh, front. Oh, Ian Tempest enters the equation. Oh. I'm not seeing that's clearly in front of a disallow the try. OK, that's all I've got. So, OK. So you stick oh. with your on-field decision. Oh, okay, controversy. So it's going to stand. Well, we've still got 18 minutes to play, 14 points the difference. Harlequins remember, with Esther Hazen having been sent off. Smith sends up the spiral bomb. It's a perfect spiral as well. Horrible one. Fawley lets it drop. Oh, this worked out for Northmore. And here's Dombrat firing his way into the corner. Gloucester being buried here by Harlequins. Here's Hansen, Australian international. Picks out Atkins, once of the Exeter Chiefs, of course. Hansen, hands on the ball, now they go to work. In goes Thorley, in goes Flynn. Eyes on the prize here, Gloucester. They got one back. Easy up. Rushing to the halfway line. This Marcus Smith, drop goal, sweetly struck. He likes it. A masterclass. James Hansen. More. Two Ed Slater. And again, everybody joining. Advantage. It's on down the blind side if they need it. Yeah. Don't think we're going to see this in the wide exchanges. They're over. Gloucester not finished yet. Flynn, knocked forwards by Harlequin, so a knock-on advantage being played here. I think they'll just check whether that's a deliberate or not. Knock-on. And that's it. It's a full stop. And Gloucester are empty-handed.
heart and soul from Harlequins, who played with 14 men for the best part of the second half, and they have well and truly reigned on the Gloucester parade with fans back at King's home. It's finished. Gloucester 24, Harlequins with the bonus point, 34.